Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, playing some more City Skylines. Now last episode we left off right here at this roundabout. Now I've done a bit of complaining about this roundabout, and you guys suggested last episode that I add or download the mod that I can eliminate traffic lights. And I've done that, and it seems to have helped quite a bit. I used to get backups out to the highway here, and there was a light right here that seems unnecessary since this is a one-way. Uh, yes, they should probably be yielding right now, but it made traffic flow so much better by eliminating that light itself. And then I think there was a light right here too, and we eliminated that one. So it is flowing better. It's still a temporary fix. I do eventually want to figure out a long-term solution for this area. But for the time being, I feel like that's going to work for now. Now, another thing, or another couple things that you might notice, uh, some roads have changed up. This last episode we changed to a curved road that ran out to this avenue here that ran out to the new neighborhood. I've changed that. I went back to the slanted road. And the reason being is the residential area does the same thing. And I wanted to keep this kind of uniform. So if these two areas get closer and closer, it doesn't look so odd. It doesn't look like there's a, like a really odd transition. So we've done that. Uh, we've added this avenue here to the back. And I believe that's it. I just wanted to do those in between episodes to clean up the city just a bit. That way I don't spend all the time this episode going in and trying to micromanage traffic. Oh, and one more road. This one here. This is now an avenue. This was a two-way road. I figured if this area or this neighborhood's going to grow up, it's going to need a main street. So we've got it here, and we've got it crossing here, and it runs all the way out to the avenue that leads to the new neighborhood. Now this is where we left off. Last episode, also, with the uh, neighborhood we built here. Now, I've had a couple issues, and actually, we've got some burning houses, and now they're getting taken care of. At least one of them's getting taken care of. I did build a fire station out here. It really needed it. The response time was way too long from the city. So you've got that, and got a police station, so they've got their own little private area here. And those are some really odd-looking houses. You've got these really small houses, and then you have these... Actually, giant. I, I don't even know if you call those houses. Those look more like apartments. And it says the Lynch residence, but eh, it feels bigger than, to me. It feels like an apartment. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and check their budgets because I still feel like they're not quite reaching. Uh, actually, let's go over everybody's budget real quick. I know I've needed to increase the fire, so let's go ahead and bump them up. I'm going to give them a significant bump here. And garbage has been a little bit of an issue, so we're going to bump them. Instead of just building a whole bunch of extra garbage or landfills or schools or all this we can always go in here and adjust these budgets so do that and I was having a little bit of an electrical issue so that should be good for now now one thing that we're gonna look at before we add on to this neighborhood out here I know education's been a bit of a concern and yes we're plumb full 998 and this one's at 296 out of 300 these are full so let's go ahead we're gonna bump their uh, budget up here. See if we can add some capacity. Uh, let's go up 25% here. What does that add? Okay, it added 57 there, and it added almost 200 there. That's still not enough. Uh, it's going to fill, especially once we build onto this neighborhood here. Maybe we should make a almost like a private school out here. I actually think that's... I like that plan. I'm going to do that. So... Uh, let's go ahead and add on this neighborhood. We'll build that little private school area up here, and then we'll decide what we're gonna, what else we're gonna add to this other side of the road. So, this is a two-way road here. I'm gonna keep this wavy pattern, and it just—I know it's still like not your complicated design, but I'm trying to keep everything semi-close uh, for money reasons. I don't feel like I want to waste a bunch of land yet. Now, that's not to say that I'm going to go in here and I will, like, go and design neighborhoods. Like, I think we might do it on this side and maybe make something a little more high class, a little more spaced apart. But I feel like just to gain money right now, we need to just keep doing it in the manner we've been doing it. Now, some people have suggested that I basically play with unlimited money and just design the city. And that's really not the point of this playthrough. Like, I want to, I want to design, but... I also want to have to do it on a budget, so uh, that's not the way I'm going to treat this. Is that a straight road there? That has absolutely no curve to it, does it? 
Uh, let's try to correct that. I need a little bit of a curve there. So let's go freeform. Just something. Something to break it up there. Now, I'm not going to run these roads. I have an avenue out here that might stretch out this way. Or at least, uh, let's say that's north. It might stretch that way. But I don't want to connect these streets to it because I don't want that traffic piling through this main neighborhood here. I want them to actually have to use this avenue. So uh, we're not going to do that. So if you're wondering, I'm probably going to put like maybe a circle at the end of the like at the ends of these roads, almost like a dead end. Uh, you've seen a lot of neighborhoods. I think that would be good. So let's see. Or I could connect the ends to each other, which that's an option too. I don't know if I'm going to do that though. Don't want to give them the whole. You know, we're going to go ahead and just give them the whole street here. I was thinking about limiting them and not letting them go closer to the highway, but I feel like they're in pretty safe shape here so yeah yeah that looks good okay so I've got that they're gonna build out I believe everybody's covered water wise yeah we're gonna miss that last section so let's go ahead and connect to like probably there and there and I can just keep slanting these I, I know I wanted to keep these uh pipes straight but that's not gonna happen right now so that'll be okay they're gonna build on over there uh, we've got the money. Let's go ahead and worry a little more about education. Uh, let's do a uh, maybe a road with trees, a two-lane. And what I want to do here, they're going to get their own little private... Well, I say it's going to be their private school. I don't know how they're actually going to divide it up. But I feel like it would look good on this side. So say if we do have a, a really nice neighborhood back here, it would be really nice to have a school right in front of it. So uh, I'm going to do it. You know what I really should do? I'm going to make another road like the one that's uh, right here. That way it keeps it off the avenue. And then we'll build the school right behind it. So that's probably, what is that? It's uh, about a block and a half. So let's go block and a half out here. And we're going to do a, it's a bit of a slanted road. It's not perfectly straight. So uh, is that, did I go too far there? It feels like I did. Let's uh, correct that real quick. So straight, so block and a half is about there. So let's do that. Slant it road, it's just slightly slant it. We're gonna run it past the uh, where I intend on letting it out, that way I can connect it a little easier. So probably like that, we'll get rid of the excess there. That looks pretty even actually. So you've only got two intersections interrupting this avenue here, you've got the one and realistically, I think everybody, everybody's going to be using this one down here, but maybe somebody will use Actually, there you go. There's a couple people using it. So I've got that. That'll work. Let's go ahead and grab this area here. I'm thinking the dead... I'm not going to be dead center with this, but I think the center is somewhere right around here. So something like that would work. And I'm going to place the schools behind here. And we can make this a nice neighborhood. And I think maybe... Over here to the right and over to the left would be where we can extend it out and make some curved roads back here and just have a nice uh, nice little neighborhood back here. I, I think that would look good. You've got the uh, backdrop of the mountains. Uh, not too close to the highways. You do have a railroad track, but I don't think we'll even come close to that. Uh, realistically, we're going to unlock hopefully this area over here soon. So I won't even be building back here at any point anytime soon. So... That would work uh, for a neighborhood. So let's go ahead. I'm going to place an elementary. I really would want to use this other high school because it looks better to me. But it doesn't have quite as high of a capacity, even with the budget raise. So I feel like we're going to have to do the uh, standard high school here. And Oh, do we not have water out here? Oh, apparently we do not. We're just missing them. So let's go up like that over you know that feels like it's gonna be a little too yeah it's gonna be a little too slanted let's go ahead try trimming that one more time here so maybe about to there so that's gonna be the water uh, we'll put up a temporary power line so something like that should reach there we go uh, hopefully we'll grow up around that I I'd like to get rid of some of these power lines because they're they're not very pretty so we'll uh, find a way to do that but Anyways, we have a new school here, so that's really actually nice. Uh, let's see, what do we need to work on next? I'm going to let this neighborhood build here, and that's actually taking care of our residential demand. I almost feel like I need to even up this neighborhood, or I could trim this neighborhood. 
Maybe this neighborhood is growing too close to this one over here. So I think I'm gonna actually trim off and I know I'm gonna make some people mad here. I'm gonna trim this because I don't think I want these close to each other. So everybody's gonna get to keep their house along this, but these people here, they're about to lose theirs. I uh, will do that and we can open up a, another section here. So we'll give them, give them all of this. So that ought to be good. So that will actually keep us separated here. And that's going to make it where maybe I'm not going to extend this avenue out. Because maybe it should just stop here. This should be the end of the neighborhood. And the question is, yeah, we've outgrown this district too. So let's go ahead and extend this out. Make sure everybody's got the same policies here. So I think that's going to be... I don't think I've missed anybody. Nope, that looks, that looks good. So we've got that extended out. Uh, this is a neighborhood too, and I probably need to extend theirs out, so let's go like that. I don't think I've set any policies for this neighborhood back here. And what's it? Sheffield Square. I actually kind of like that name, even though it's not a square. Uh, let's see. What kind of policies do we have here? Of course, I like the smoke detector. That's always good. Uh, recycling would be nice. Uh, what is recycling actually? Just slightly reduces everything. That should bump up their land value. A uh, smoking ban. Hmm. Increased health. Does that tick people off? It slightly de decreased happiness. Okay. Uh, some of these other ones. Parks and recreation. What is that one again? That one. Yeah. Okay. That increases the land value, which we do have a park over here. So I think we're going to do that one. So that looks good there. I encourage biking. I actually like that. I actually think we need to enact that over in the city or at least where the uh, neighborhood is over there because that might actually help with traffic uh, eventually we're gonna have to worry about transportation and i think the first form of that would probably be a taxi service but i don't know if we're quite there yet so let's go ahead uh where's that there it is how to find the name there so policies let's update this let's encourage biking and just see what that does uh, i guess that we might actually need to build some bike lanes now, the more I think about it, which I can I can do that. That shouldn't be too hard, so let's do that, and let's, let's encourage recycling here. I know it's going to cost us a little bit of money, but in the long run, I think that's going to be healthy for this neighborhood. So I've got that going. Hmm. You know, I really would kind of like to add some sort of... And what are the, What's up with the cops showing up at the schools here? What is going on? Are we having a... Uh, how's crime in the city? Something feels wrong. No, actually, it's fine, so... Oh, maybe they're just visiting or showing off uh, for the students, because that just... That's odd. Uh, let's see. You know, I kind of want to give them... We do have the gymnasium over here, but I kind of want to give them, like, a sports activity. Okay, I've got a baseball diamond here, and I feel like that's a, a good American sport, so let's move the gymnasium real quick. And I really think... Can it all fit together? Say if I move this high school. Maybe we moved it to the front. Kind of like I feel like it should be. And all the sports fields will be behind it. So, uh, do I like the gymnasium on this? I think I like this gymnasium on this side. I'm actually going to be picky here and move it over to. And then I think we can fit a ball field here. We might have to swap those around. Let's see. Baseball field. Where you? F yes, it will fit. That actually looks good. So, maybe right there. So, there we go. Baseball field. That looks pretty legit. I feel like we can decorate this area now. Uh, let's see. What do I have in the way of trees? A little landscaping. I've downloaded some landscaping tools that I'm not quite comfortable with yet, so I'm not going to go into detail as far as uh, coloring everything. Now, I might add some pedestrian paths. I've got one in between the schools. I might add another one out there. Uh, let's just add some trees in between. Let's just make it... Make it look a little more congested out here because the trees seem a little sparse around the school, which that doesn't feel right. It feels like there should be quite a few trees in the school area. Of course, you got the smaller trees on the uh, the road itself, but I'm keeping these big trees that look a little more natural out here. So there we go. That's a, It's a nice looking little neighborhood. I feel like I can go into some fine detail work, which I think I'm going to do eventually. And we'll go in and place some little items. But for the time being, I'm fairly happy with this area and, and the way it's turned out. All right, we are really getting close to our next milestone, which I really want to hit that this episode. 
that milestone is going to unlock a lot of opportunities. We're going to finally get our high density residential. We're going to get our high density commercial and the office zone. Now, I've been debating. I think we will do some, maybe some high density commercial through here. It's very possible, but I don't know if the traffic situation is going to hold up on this side. Uh, we might actually start planning on this side because this feels like the high density area for your residential for your commercial and for your offices. Now, it's not to say we can't do some sort, or at least some forms of high density out here, maybe even in this neighborhood over here. You know, I really kind of should extend this park. If we're going to do that, I feel like they need an even bigger park. I might eventually get rid of these two squares here and extend this park. It almost look, I don't want to say like Central Park because Central Park is absolutely huge, but it's got that same type of feel just being in the middle of a city. So, hmm. We could do that. It's very possible. Now, as you can see, we're growing pretty well over here. Let's actually give them this last zone. And we might even extend this neighborhood out even further. Or we might start on the other side. Now, let's give them that last zone and we'll see what the demand looks like after. We're actually getting some commercial demand, which that's kind of odd. My commercial's been really, really flat. And I don't quite understand why it just could be the the population and we just had enough to meet the demand but uh, we're gonna open up a couple zones for them so we're gonna meet their demand and I love the way these cities look now with all these actual brands even though it's kind of strange seeing everything you know like multiple like pipe eyes actually there's three in shot here <laughs> and it's, oh four four but there's uh other unique buildings like the 7-eleven here uh, Walgreens, Old Navy, Murphy USA, another Walgreens, a Chick-fil-A. I think I saw a Cracker Barrel. There it is. That's cool. So maybe we'll get a little more variety in here. And that's probably when they're going to build another churches or another, not a churches, a Popeyes on this side. Maybe getting my chicken brands mixed up here. That'll work. That looks good. So we're going to give them that. Industrials wanting more areas and are we not reaching? Oh, we're not. They want more areas, and I'm not, I'm a little hesitant to give them even further down. I mean, I could do it. I could just maybe increase the taxes. They don't seem to mind if I increase taxes. I mean, it's a good way to make money, but I feel like I don't know when enough's enough here. I mean, I could, let's say, these are all two-way roads, I believe. We can extend these out across here. Which maybe I should do. Let's give them, let's do a little more of a wave here. And then we're going to actually, these are going to need to be connected at the end. So let's just slightly slant them. I know we're getting close to the pumping station again. Uh, but there's going to be a reason for this. And why can't I build here? Is there a building I've placed or is it just the angle? It's not liking what I'm doing here on this street. I'm not understanding why. Everything looks pretty standard. So there we go. It's kind of strange. Uh, you know what? We're going to leave... Maybe I'll leave one lane off. We'll make them turn around for now before I connect these ends. And let's just give them... Let's give them a little bit of the street here. We're not going to give them all the way down because we're going to run into another situation where it's like, all right, time to move the uh, pumping station once again. So let's give them... I don't know, something like that. That should give them a little bit more here. I kind of want to connect this road around, but that... That's a thing over here, so... We'll hold off. Uh, let's go ahead and check how everything's going. Healthcare is good. Fire safety is still... It's a strange thing, especially in these industrial areas. I mean, we've currently got a one on fire right now. Let's see. Here comes the fire department. Should save it. You know, they haven't not gotten there in time. The only time where I had that situation and I addressed that was out here. I was able to add a fire station... And I guess they're even traveling over to the industrial area, which they should probably pay attention to this. You know, I almost wish you can... I don't think you can. It would be nice to be able to assign maybe an area, say this fire station over here can only take calls in this district. And I don't know... I could be wrong. There might be a mod for that. If anybody knows, uh, definitely write it in the comments because I feel like that should be a thing because I don't see why they're ignoring the house fire over here. And we're heading over to fight industrial fires or wherever it was over in this area. So that's a little strange to me. 
kind of thinking if I want to go ahead and make these little roundabouts here at the end, or do I want to make this neighborhood go even further? I feel like it could probably go another couple uh, lengths further. Maybe, I don't know, let's try, let's see what this looks like. Maybe till about there, and then we should probably cap these streets. Which I don't even know if I need to cap them. I, mean, I might be able to just get away with leaving them how they are, but I feel like capping, capping them will make it look better. So, I don't know if there's a tool. Like, I don't want to make just a little circle roundabout. I'd like to see, in which I, I'm going to have to go through some of the mods or some of the streets I've downloaded. I'd like to see something that actually is just a little turnaround. So, maybe I can find one of those, because that would look good on the ends of those. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and give you guys some more zoning out here. Let's just highlight it. Might as well go ahead and plan for the future here and give you all of it. That's what's going to happen anyway, so... Let's give you all that. Should be good. How are we treating this school over here? Are we, are we going good here? Yeah, we're filling up pretty... Pretty good. Wow. Yeah, I'm glad I raised the budget there. It seems like we're... We still have room, so... Oh, here. There we go. That's our new milestone. But yeah, it feels like we still have room, so I'm not really too worried about that. So, now we've got our new milestone. We've got new taxation policies. Uh, we can buy a new area, which I'm going to do that immediately. Uh, we've got some new services. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. Education boost. Now we've got all the new taxes that we can enact with the new zones. Uh, I've got a university, which... Hmm. A lot of this is really tempting. I don't think we have a prison or a jail problem. I don't think that's necessary. I didn't... A plant, an incendiary plant, is another thing that I really would like to invest in. So I think before, let's go ahead and buy this land here. Okay, so we've got a perfect square. That's uh, nice. So we've got all that. I think we're going to hold off on this side here. I've got the zones open. Uh, let's finally tune over here real quick. Uh, let's see. How much is that university? I'll imagine. Oh, it's going to be expensive, isn't it? 75000 That's going to be an investment for the future. Now, our landfill. I want to go ahead and address this. I can do the recycling center, but the question is, how much does it actually take care of? It's 2400 Is that pounds processing rate? Uh, how's the incinerate plant? It's 4800 It does cause pollution, though. So, hmm. The recycling plant's a little bit cheaper as far as the uh, the upkeep, but the incinerary plant is cheaper for your upfront cost. Mm, do I want to be cheap right now? Do I want to go ahead and do that just to start to plan ahead for our garbage troubles? I think for now, until we plan to basically full-blown go green, you know, attack that, let's go ahead and go with the uh, plant. It's going to cause pollution. I can stick it right there. There we go. So we're going to start burning this trash and let's go ahead. We're going to clear out one of these landfills. Let's empty it into another one. And then hopefully that plant will be able to keep up. And I'd like to start just phasing these out. I know I probably won't be able to phase them all out right now, but it's a little embarrassing the way they are now. I just, I don't like the way they look at all. So uh, we'll get those taken care of there. Now, what am I seeing over here? Okay, they're just empty. I thought that was the sewage thing. I was like, ah, how's that a problem? Oh, you know, that is flowing quite nicely. I, I like this now because it is day. We should be getting a lot of traffic in and out. Just, it's as simple as having that mod to eliminate those lights have cleaned this up so much. I know it. the traffic pattern's a little funny because, say, if this was a real roundabout, and of course, we don't have too many of these in America, but the couple that we do have, you know, these this traffic coming off this highway realistically should be, I mean, there's little stop signs here, but they should be yielding. And I'm seeing some very unsafe maneuvers, so uh, thankfully there's not crashes in the game, uh, at least not yet. I don't know that Natural Disasters pack, when that comes out, I know it's going to add, of course, disasters, but I don't know if maybe car accidents or car polyps is going to be a thing. Maybe that would be. It'd be kind of cool to see, but I'm pretty sure I would have had a ton of them already right here. Alright, our facility is now empty. Let's go ahead. We're getting rid of this, uh, this landfill out here. I've been waiting on this for a moment. So we've got that cleared. Uh, so that's good. That makes me feel better. Now, as far as our garbage goes, we're still... Our incinerator, it's working its tail off right now. Uh, Budget-wise, we can give it some more. I feel like that's not going to hurt. So we've got that going for us. Now, I have started to look... I'm eyeballing this area, and I don't 
still don't think I'm going to mess with it this episode. I did extend the highway out because I did unlock the uh, the soundproof barriers, which I'm pretty sure that's going to be a thing for the city. Now, I'm going to need to find, and I'm not really good at designing exit systems, so I'm going to go in the workshop in between episodes and find really creative exit systems to get off this highway and, say, into a major city because I want it to be a lot cleaner uh, than, say, this roundabout here. This roundabout looks nice, but it's that's not going to be good for, like, full-blown highway, major city, thousands upon thousands of people trying to exit off at one time. So I'm going to need to adjust that. But I do think we're going to run this highway out, in which I think eventually once we expand out to the coast here, this highway will curve, and it could even bridge over that little river there, or it could just swing back up. But this would run through the city, and I've got so many plans for this outer area with the uh, beach area. I mean, it's going to be very nice. Uh, I picture a nice tourist area, so I'm really excited about that, but I need to like pull those expectations back just a little bit and worry about what I have now. So I've added, well, of course, we've got this extended section here, and I'm still tempted to keep going with this. Uh, traffic's not an issue, and I am still forcing them out to that little area there. And we have a little bit of demand, so I think we're going to wave back just a little bit. I'm, we're going to end it here, though. It doesn't need to run past this road over here because that's getting close to the highway, and that's no fun for anybody. So we're going to do that. Let's cut that back over here. And I really... I'm thinking about doing the university. We're going to try to jump out ahead as far as our education. Uh, I want smart people. I want when we start to build that big city, I want it to flourish. Like, I want there to be jobs in those office buildings. I want educated people because that's really going to be one of your keys to a successful city. Now, as far as the university goes, I don't know. I don't think it's going to fit there. It might actually wind up going out here near the neighborhood, at least as a temporary thing. So... Uh, let's go ahead and make the district larger here, and is this, there's a large one. There we go. I like the name, the Sheffield Square, but if you guys have any better suggestions, you go ahead and comment below, and we'll see what you guys got. But we're going to do that, and we might start converting some of this over here to a little higher density, or at least try it out in a couple squares and see if we can attract some uh, big-time apartment buildings. Uh, go ahead and give them all the way out to here. I'm going to still keep them off this side of the road. I, I like this patch, this separation we have going on here. So we got that, and, and it is surely nasty with all the rain. Uh, let's see. Oh, we're going to need to correct this. And See, this is where that little slanting of the pipes is going to bite me. I'm going to have to actually run it probably along the highway here. Or I could just probably just break it off right here. Uh, it's got to be at a little more of an angle, so let's come out. And we'll break it off like that. That'll save us some money. Now, you can see I've already started laying... I, I get so impatient sometimes. I've already started laying out some pipe over here. But I'm just going to pull back and hold myself from building over on this side until I'm really ready. Our happiness is down a bit, so... We need to make them happy, and I want to get that university built, and then I think I'll be satisfied. So, I think we're really, really wanting another park, but I don't want just a park. I mean, if we got a big park here, we could extend the park. That's a thing. Hmm. Don't want to go ahead and do that. That seems like that might be the next solution or the next thing to do. Let's uh, resume time here. I'm about to make a lot of people mad, so we're going to dezone these two areas here. And Oh, that's so annoying. The sirens in the game, it's... I wonder if there's a mod to replace those. I mean, just they're not very nice to listen to. Just so loud. Uh, let's see, that's actually going to look good. That's going to be a fairly big park, too. So, I wonder if there's anything that matches that side. That's a fairly big tree area thing. I, I could sit two things side by side. Come on, get out of here. There we go. I could go... Hmm, we got some plazas. I don't need to put a track. Even though that, Oh, the basketball court would actually look kind of cool. Maybe blend that in towards the middle. Can that set on pedestrian paths? I don't like it. It's going to have to be connected to a street, so... You could set maybe that on the middle. I wish I had a small tennis court. This is actually a big club, and that's going to look a little odd for a 
a park. What else do we have? We've got these ginormous bounce houses. Like, you have the little bounce house, but the uh, actual area it takes up is huge. Which I don't really understand that. So, got that. We got a sunken plaza here. Some pedestrian bridges. Those canals actually look nice. Uh, canals probably a bit much for this park. Uh, we could go back to the park with trees and just blend the whole area here. What do you mean roadside? That is roadside down there. Why cannot? There we goes. Don't want to do that. Do we have something that has some water? Do we have a Japanese garden that looks kind of nice. Uh, we have a dog park. Actually, dog park's relatively small. Small playground, dog park. I am being really choosy with these parks here. Do we have anything in the unique buildings that would match as a friendly? Ooh, I love that. I love that gazebo. Why is that a noisy... See, that's one thing. I think I've seen this before. You're going to get noise complaints off of this thing because of the... Uh, I guess because of loud music or something. I don't understand that, but I can place a normal park, I mean like a dog park, and I'm not going to get the same complaints. I think what we're going to need to do, we're going to go ahead and place the big park. So, we're going to do that, but we're going to blend a park in between. I feel like I want that dog park. Uh, or could do... No, I don't want anything that looks like circus rides. Uh, where is the dog park? Here's the dog park. So say there's an area in the middle of this, and we, once we go with these pedestrian paths and put them in, this will make a little more sense. I feel like the dog park could probably be... Now, these people are going to love this. Uh, let's place that there. Uh, is there a budget to this? I don't know if there is or isn't. So I feel like we need to extend... Let's extend this out and make everybody a little happier. I don't know if that extends the area or the influence around the parks, because this might not all be necessary as far as building this many pedestrian, or this many parks in one area, but to me, it just looks nice. It's, you know, you guys tell me you want to see some more designing, and this is kind of what that is. Uh, let's see. I need to go get the pedestrian paths. I'm trying to figure out how I want to actually connect them here. Okay, we're going to place, let's see. It makes these, I almost feel like there's this area might be a little empty here. Let's see what happens when we uh, want to do it like that. Let's do a uh, curve. Let's do a free form and make them connect to that road there. Uh, let's make a connection, say probably something like there. So you've got a little bit of a gap there. Do that. Let's make a connection out to the road here. Let's make it look like people can walk into the in and out of the park, kind of wherever they want to. So got those connections. It'd be nice to have like a statue or something here. Or maybe we should just run a cross path like that. Cause all these other paths seem really mixed up too. So got those corners. Got plenty of ways in and out. I feel like if we just fill this up with trees, make sure I'm matching trees here. Uh, is it going to be this one? There we go. This is some of the trees that are in this park. So let's just mix these throughout here. There we go, that actually looks really, really nice. And I've already seen the houses, they're all kind of changing over. I guess they're getting a much higher value now, uh, the land value is. And I'm watching these houses just convert over. It's actually quite funny. Uh, you know, we can mix some of these little items in here too. Let's see, what do we have? Anything that would really just mix in. I think there's some picnic benches here. So I feel like we can have like a little picnic area here in the... Uh, Middle, and there goes walkers right there. Uh, let's see, something like that. Let's tilt this one over a little bit. So you got a nice little nice little area here. We have a couple of those there. Maybe we'll do some on the street. These, uh, thankfully, these pedestrian paths are already lit up, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's do one over there. Oh, the dog park sign. I think we've already got one in the front. Is there... Is that the only way in and out of the dog park? Yes, it is. Okay, so there's not, like, a back entrance there. That looks good. Uh, you know, we could probably add one of these pavilions into the center of the park. That would actually be nice. I want to say the center's about in this area, so it doesn't need to set exactly on the uh, on the pedestrian path itself. So do something like that. Uh, let's see. I'm actually really happy with the way that came out. That looks good, and that's extended this area. Yeah, I like that a lot. This whole design of this neighborhood. Even though it's morally grid-like, the grid does change patterns here as you can see the cross streets going up and they stop over here and of course you got the uh, kind of di or the triangles over here. So uh, that's a really nice neighborhood. I'm 
I'm happy with the way that came out. Now, one more thing that I want to do before this episode is up. I want to go ahead. We're going to commit to university here, and I think I think we might actually do it out here. Let me uh, go over the areas real quick, and I'll see for sure where I want to do this. All right, I've decided on the university being over here. I thought about putting it out in the neighborhood. That doesn't quite make sense. Now, this is going to make it where I have to move a couple facilities, and I'm going to try this on for size real quick. I think having the ball field near the avenue looks kind of nice, and the gymnasium still kind of over here, out of sight. It's kind of behind everything, and it feels right by the ball field. Now, that actual university is not as big as I thought it was going to be. So, it's going to take up, of course, this back, and actually fits perfect right there. You've got three squares on each side, so the university is front and center right here, and... I feel like that's going to make this area absolutely boom. People are going to want to move here. I can already see a lot of the houses, uh, even though we're getting a lot of the same house. I need to see. That might be a downloaded house. I'll have to check. Might have to uh, download some more and mix it up. But these bigger houses are going up. Uh, land value appears to be really great here. Uh, let's see. I think we've got some new policies that we might be able to play with here. I don't want to ban pets. Parks and Recreation. I need to enable that. Uh, school's out. I don't... Which one is that? Citizens prefer working over educate. No, we do not need to do that. That's not the intent for this neighborhood. So, that feels good right there. So, we've got the university in. We've accomplished quite a bit. I haven't done a tremendous amount of building as far as new neighborhoods this episode. Of course, we have added on to the industrial. We've added on to... Actually, this neighborhood's probably doubled in size since the last episode, and I think we're going to end it here. I need to find, I didn't see a little, I don't want to put a roundabout at the end of these. I want to put like a, just a solid concrete circle. And I don't see that in game. I want to see if maybe there's a mod for that or I could be missing it. But I like to have those at the ends of these. Because like I said, these are not going to run around and connect. So we're going to do that. Now next episode, we might do a little bit of designing in here. I'm going to go in here and correct these roads. And get these a little more even. Uh, they seem, something's just off by just a couple blocks about them. So we're going to fix that. Uh, we might jump into this area because I've got, of course, I've got all the high-density residential zones unlocked for this area. So I feel like we can go in here and really start to hammer that out. And lastly, I feel like over way off in the distance on the other side of Sheffield Square, uh, I'm going to make a nice neighborhood out there. I want to make something where I'm going to have to put a little more design and more thought into the design of the roads. And we'll make something where it's going to be really spaced out and just make almost like a suburban type neighborhood back there. So we've got plenty to do. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode today. If you got any suggestions, comment below. If you got any mod suggestions, anything about this city, uh, just comment below and I will try to answer as many of them as possible. But if you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you.